Hey everyone, this is Rob Farian with the Flying V Group. Today we're gonna go over how to run a Google Lighthouse audit on your website. And Google Lighthouse is a tool that Google has developed that actually allows you to run uh, site performance based on a 3G mobile connection. Uh, mobile site speed is becoming more and more of an issue for websites, business owners, web developers, because number one, a lot of traffic to your site is from a mobile network. And number two, mobile site speed is being used as a determinant for page ranking, as well as there's a direct correlation between site speed and user conversions or user interactions on your site. Uh, we wrote a blog article, it's in the description below, that talks about uh, those relations between uh, converting a customer on your site and site speed, as well as how it uh, interacts on a mobile platform. So I have a regular website page open here, it's just yahoo.com, and I'm gonna walk through how we can actually run a audit on this site and then you can obviously open up your own site and run the audit there as well. Uh, so I'm using Chrome and I'm just going to open the site up, yahoo.com, and then on anywhere on the page, like I would inspect any other page, I'm just going to right click and then go down to this inspect button down here. So that'll open up my doc. And I've got my doc on the right side. Most of the time it'll open at the bottom, um, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I have it on the right. Um, and so my audits button is actually hidden, but you'll see here, um, if I click these arrows, I'll get to this audits portion. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And audits help you identify and fix common problems that affect your site's performance, accessibility, and user experience. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click perform an audit. And then it's gonna give me a bunch of different options. So I can run a performance audit, progressive web app audit, best practices audit, accessibility audit, or SEO audit. Performance is how long does this app take to show content? Progressive web app, does this page meet the standard of a progressive web app? Best practices, does this page follow best practices for modern web development? Accessibility, is this page usable by people with disabilities or impairments? And then finally, SEO, is this page optimized for search engine results rankings? So all those audits are very um, important and crucial and will help uh, your web developer or improving your site. Uh, but for this tutorial and the sake of time, we're just going to focus on this performance audit here. But feel free when you're doing your audit, you can click all of them and run all of them to get a report there. If you have any questions about what some of these mean, or how to improve some of these, uh, please don't hesitate to ask us in the, uh, in the description or in, on a comment on this uh, video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click run audit and then the audit's gonna run in the background. So that's what it's doing over here. It doesn't like me, so it made my ugly mug disappear, but that's okay. And so basically it's running your website through a bunch of different tests uh at this time you know I, I really encourage you to read our blog post that we have in the description and this is going to discuss mobile site page rankings how it's going to affect keyword rankings google's coming out with a new algorithm in july 2018 to where mobile site speed is going to be taken into effect uh how mobile site speed uh how the correlation between that and again user conversions user experience and, um, user interaction on your site relate uh, and just kind of touching on things you think are very crucial. So audit takes a few minutes. Um, so this is going over here. This should go quicker if we're just running the performance. Uh, in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind liking this video or leaving a comment if you feel we did well or even subscribing. We don't post a ton of videos. Uh, but the videos that we do post, we feel are very relevant to the industry and are going to be things that are extremely important or useful uh, for web developers, uh, business owners, or anybody else that is interested in what's going on in the, in, on the web. So once again, it's loading. We should have our report in a minute. And then from there, we'll talk about how to actually download your report 
but then even more importantly, get your report into an actual viewable and usable format um, that you can send to, again, your developer, anybody on your team that you think needs to, needs to see the report. So it should be finishing up shortly. And yes, there it is. Okay, so it'll score your website for performance out of 100. And then if you also ran those other audits, uh, it'll give you a score out of 100 on those as well. Um, but as you can see, it gives us metrics on the speed. Yahoo needs to do some improvement scoring at a two. Um, but then it also gives you some opportunities. So things that you can do on your site to improve performance. Uh, and it'll get in more detail if you click the drop down. Gives you some diagnostics. And then finally, it'll also give you the audits that you passed. What we've seen currently is a lot of these audits that have passed are things people have been doing to improve just page speed overall. So whether it's using the Google page speed tool or GT metrics or pingdom tools uh, to run site speed. So you'll see in here the things like minifying CSS, minifying JavaScript, optimizing images. Um, if you're not passing many audits at all, uh, that's a concern for your site speed as a whole, regardless of what network you are on. So even if you are over a Wi-Fi connection or a, uh, um, a plugged in connection versus just a mobile connection. So if you do have issues there, contact us as well. That's something we can help out with. So now let's talk about downloading the actual uh, report and getting it into a usable format. So we're just gonna go ahead and click this button here and that'll download the report. Feel free to save it however you like. It's gonna show up in my downloads folder. So I'll just save here. And then we're actually gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna search for Google Lighthouse Viewer. And I apologize, video recording is acting up. There it is. And we'll just click this top one. So it's googlechrome.github.io slash backslash lighthouse backslash viewer. So we'll click that and that'll take us to our lighthouse report viewer. To view a report, paste its JSON or a gist URL. You can drag and drop the file or click here to select it. So I'll just click here to select. That'll open a select, go to wherever we save the file, open it up and boom, now we've got our report. Uh, there's a few ways you can extract it from this screen. Uh, if you have these options, you can print a summary, which will print everything without the drop downs. Expanded will print everything with the expansion. Copy JSON, uh, save as HTML, Mel, save as JSON, or save as GIST. Um, best way to just get this into a, a emailable form or one that it's going to be easy for everybody to view. Uh, is you can just go ahead and click print summary. And then if you have some type of uh, PDF or save as PDF version, then you can just go ahead and save that as a PDF version. Um, so I'm gonna back out of here. That's pretty much it. Um, it's a pretty simple report uh, to run, but the metrics that it gives you are extremely, extremely important. If you have any questions about what they mean, please leave those in the comments. Again, check out our blog that we've wrote about um, mobile website speed that is linked in the in the description below. Also, we'd love if you could like this video, leave a comment, say hi, um, ask us some questions. And also if you feel like it, subscribe. Again, we don't post a ton of videos, but the videos that we do post, we feel are very useful and very beneficial um, for you. So thanks for listening, really appreciate it. And like I said, please reach out if you have any issues. Have a great day.